Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Monday, August 8th, 2016 by Gaia Blumi. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is love has taken over. And today we are in the energy of the Lion's Gate. So the Lion's Gate happens every year 8-8 and it's some powerful energy. And what I'm getting with this energy is basically the energy mantra love has taken over. The lion's gate to me is basically <laughs> what my shirt's saying, infinite love. And that's the energy that we're working with, with lion's gate, with the energies today, is allowing and bringing forth and recognizing the infinite love energy that is always divinely pouring into us, empowering us, and urging us to show up and be better. And it's interesting, we don't actually have too many connections going on today, but the connections we do have, I believe, are supporting this energy of opening, expanding, allowing in the presence of infinite love. Um, we have the moon today in the Libra. Libra, the sign of love, um, the sign of beauty and pleasure, the energies that help us align with the energy energy of love. And we do have the moon in Libra opposite Uranus. Uranus retrograde 24 degrees. 24 by the way, which is a 6, which is that Libra Venus energy. And Uranus has us retrograding, looking within to know who we are, to help break through who we are. And here we have Lionsgate energy that's like, hello, you are infinite love. You are a human as infinite love incarnate. This is what you're embodying. You're here to embody this love. Um, and you know, the thing is with love, and we may feel this today with the moon in Libra and Uranus retrograde, that little tug of war, is that everything has polarities. Abraham will say, if you pick up, you know, a stick of abundance, it has lack on the other end. You know, there's, there's varying degrees and depending where you fall on it is what you may be feeling with it. But <laughs> there is no ending to that ability to tap into the infinite ability of love. The universe is there holding space for all of us to tap into that energy. And it's like, here, arise, walk through this threshold, move through your fear, go through this portal. It feels like, you know, we're standing at a door. I like have this vision of literally like... Um, I don't know, a big archway with like these two lions on the side. And it's your choice to move through into this infinite energy. And the universe is like, do it. <laughs> we need you to do it. We need you to step up and own this, embody this, and let love take over. Um, we, besides that, have the moon shifting into Scorpio later in the evening. Moon in Scorpio, taking us into the Phoenix energy, taking us into the energy of rebirth, taking us into the energy of empowerment. Love is your ultimate empowerment. Sometimes I think we feel empowered when we feel fierce and when we feel like, man, I'm going to take you down. But I think this is saying the biggest power that you can awaken within you right now is the power of love. And if you just let it come up and let the flames of love embody you and transform you, just hold that space and ask the universe, hey, let the flames of love transform me. Believe me, it will do that. I also feel there's like kind of this feminine energy within this, and there's kind of an energy of destiny going on. So the feminine energy, we have Lilith connecting to Neptune. Um, Lilith asking us to re-empower ourselves through this love energy. You know, the feminine energy that's fierce is fierce from the energy of love. It's not fierce from the energy of hate. It's not fierce from the energy of competition. It's not fierce from wanting to stand on top of anybody. It's fierce from the fires of love that come up and through. So Lilith and Scorpio is helping us tap into that energy by connecting to Neptune, bringing in that strong energy of compassion that Neptune can bring. We also have Mercury in Virgo at 12 degrees, connecting to uh, the North Node. They're conjunct today. So your words today will be so powerful in your reality. So choose to hold a space of empowering, loving energy for yourself, for your body, for others around you, and just see 
as you walk through this portal, how love has taken over. Now I want to show you one of my favorite, favorite, favorite tarot cards. This is um, the strength card. And you see this woman like grabbing onto this lion. And she's not restraining him. This isn't about restraining your love. It's like grabbing onto your love as if your love is a lion. Like Rumi, roar lion of the heart and tear me open. And riding it for all you've got. So let that be your visual demonstration for this energy. From the cards, I have turning in and breakthrough. And this is what we're doing. We're looking within for the love within to break us through. And there, look, that breakthrough. It's a big heart. It's heart energy. And it's moving us into this, the master and the lover's energy. We are called to be master lovers at this time. Mastering the love vibration showing up in the world wherever it's at. We have to let go of our own guilt, though. And this is about self-love, to let go of your guilt. Nobody's perfect. Everybody's done stuff that they wish that they hadn't. But you've got to let it go in order to fully show up in love. Where are my animal cards? I have great animal cards if I could find them. Here they are. All right, the animal cards are helping us with this. B, the power. The way you do things is the key to your personal power. And helping with that, we get a leg up with giraffe. We have approach all with love, empathy, understanding. The point of understanding is our ability to see things from all angles, especially from love. You get to choose where you're going to come from. And the universe is asking us right now, choose from love. And now Rumi, because, because it's such a great day. And the card is Arise. Wings of hope language from lack of use. When wings dissipate and weaken, life begins to lose its value. Every cell in your body is created to rise to challenges. Your life is meant to confront everything that holds you captive. Don't sit at the bottom of the well not caring about salvation. Listen to the voice within calling you. Reach for eminence beyond your own maturity. And it says, I see in you a divine wild child and sacred heart. You have Gumption, chutzpah, guts. You dare to love where others only see pain. You dare to believe that everything will somehow work out where others see only what they judge to be wrong. You see love where others ply fear. You seek freedom where the world still buys into manipulation and propaganda. Don't lose heart, beloved wild child. Dare to believe. You are right to do so. It is the divine rebel in you that refuses to surrender hope. Give up the fight, perhaps. The battle does not come. That battle... The battle that does come from the place of fear, but never give up your hope. That hope in your heart, that optimism and patience for growth into love creates light within you that helps the world through the darkness. It becomes a candle that shimmers contentedly upon the windowsill of your heart temple. There it is, more obvious even in the darkness. This oracle comes to you with the message, Arise go through the portal. You have been downtrodden for long enough. Perhaps you've been feeling defeated, put upon, underestimated, walked over in mind, body, or spirit by others, or by your own doubts and fears. Enough now. You are liberated through the hope in your heart, the defiant optimist that buoys your spirit and demands that you shall have your dawn. You shall rise like the sun and begin anew now. Step up. It is your time. So, that's the astro for today. <laughs> what a beautiful day. Enjoy your lion's gate. Enjoy the energy of love. Let it come, rise through you, expand beyond you, and just see what happens. Namaste.